Hey guys, so we are here today with my mama and we are going to talk about some tips and tricks for maturing skin. And we're going to do a little bit of an eye look, but we're going to talk, <laughs> we're going to talk about some um, makeup basics. So once you have prepped your skin, which is obviously one of the most important steps, you want to go ahead and go in first with primer. I love Glorious Primer. It helps, um, it helps keep your makeup in place. It provides a barrier between your skin and your makeup. So especially if you do have dry skin, your skin will want to absorb any product that you put on it, which would make your makeup not last as long. So if you have a primer that puts, a, a quality primer that puts the barrier on your skin so it's not trying to absorb um, your makeup and it helps keep your makeup on lasting all day. It also helps filling, helps with filling in fine lines and wrinkles, pores, and all of that. So she, my mama already has this on. Another important thing, especially with maturing skin, is to make sure to use cream products whenever possible, especially if your skin is drier, the cream products will blend nicely with your skin. All right, so my mom, we have, we put BB cream on. We put it right here in this little liquid foundation brush. In the little center there, we just squeezed it. We buffed it onto her face. I topped it very lightly with the touch press powder. Um, our powder is very finely milled, so I do feel like it sits nicely on the skin and it doesn't sink into those fine lines. Okay. Okay. Here we are over here now. <laughs> We're going to be focusing on my mom's eyes today, and one really important thing is to focus on the brows. Brows frame the face, especially as you get older and your brows thin a bit, you can always fake it. Fake them until you make them. So we're going to go ahead and fill them in um, with our brow pencil and our brow gel. All right, we're going to trace along the bottom of her natural brow first using short hair-like strokes, and then we trace the top. We fill in the sparse areas again with just very short strokes. You can brush it out with the spoolie part of the pencil as well. Now we're onto the brow gel. I go against the grain at first so the fibers in the gel adhere more to your natural hairs. And then obviously comb it back out straight. Now we're going to use our touch concealer with our concealer brush just under the brows. This helps highlight it lifts the brows and if you have any cleanup problems you can address them there. I also went ahead and put it on the lids to neutralize the lids and make any eyeshadows pop. Here we have our eye primer. It is awesome to help keep your makeup in place, your eye makeup. And we are taking palette number one. We have our liner shader brush, which is my favorite, hands down. We are taking Brassy, that beautiful gold pigment, and we are pressing it into the skin. If you hold the skin taut gently, you can make sure that you're getting all of the areas of your lids. Doesn't my mama look pretty? We are taking the crease brush and we are putting it into Chipper, which is a matte brown shade. We're doing it on the outer corners and the crease. Now remember, the first place that you place your product will be the darkest. So keep it on the outside and then gently blend inward with windshield wiper motions. You want to keep to the uh, matte shades, especially if you have hooded lids or skin with folds because shimmers will draw attention to that areas whereas matte shades do not. So for any shade that you choose for those areas, make sure it is a matte or low in shimmer. All right, we are taking Elated, which is a cream um, matte shade, and we are highlighting the brows. Now I'm getting a little more shimmer because everyone needs a little sparkle, and I'm putting it in the tear duct. Because my mama has a natural look, we're still going to add a little color, and we're doing it with our liner. It's a pretty purple color called Passionate. You can see I'm making short strokes versus one long line. This helps prevent any skid marks or any little marks from folds in the skin. And I'm also lifting up at the very edge with my liner to help give a more lifted look. Now we're going in with our mascara. We start with the gel. We do our fibers mid-lash to tip and then we move on to the other eye gel then fibers like we did on the first eye while those fibers set. 
Now you look and you see that you got mascara all over your mom because it's hard putting mascara on someone else. So let it dry, take a Q-tip, and clean it up. Now seal the deal with your final layer of gel. We are taking one of our Opulence lipsticks, and this is in the shade Conceited. We are using it as a cream blush. This adds a beautiful glow to the skin and a nice healthy color. I love this for a blush. We can go ahead and double it up, multi-purpose it, and use it on the lips. I love this color so much, and I think it looks so beautiful on my mama. Here, lips, cheeks. <laughs> we can even add a little gloss. For some extra shimmer. Okay, so that is the finished look. Love it. <laughs> Feels so sweet. <laughs> I guess it feels so sweet. Thanks for watching and share this with your mamas. That's right, it feels wonderful, so natural. I love it. <laughs> I can't use that! That's the corniest thing I've ever seen! Oh my gosh! Well, that's the end, she just...